Alright. But we're still at war with Burgundy. We are still at war with Burgundy. Let's see if they'll peace out now. They probably won't. They probably won't. Oh, why did I click on my own territory? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to peace with you, but I'll click on my own territory too. Oh, that's Brittany. I feel so derp. I feel so derp. Um, offer white peace. They would not... Why won't you accept that, huh? Huh? Why won't you do that? Just for me. Just for old time's sake. Um... Let's build a unit of Chevy Shea. And we're going to pull our soldiers back to our capital. We're also going to do a general. Now that we, we do have some money here. And recruit a general. His name is Barnamar Priest, I think. Maybe, possibly, no. We can't do that till we're in friendly soil. We can't add a general into the actual army. Which we probably can't because they're like moving. Stop. We can't? But now we can. Um, Barnamar Okay, what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to wait for this army to catch up. It also lets me wait a little bit for my morale to go up because I do not want to show up there and then Brittany and then uh, Burgundy who has now 8,000 soldiers here. I don't know if I miscounted or if they reinforced, but they now have 8,000 to our 6. We're building another unit to give us 7. We could really use England's help. We could build another one in here, but they're just going to kill it. So, there isn't much we can do for to save Glamorgan anymore. Oh, what do we got here? Trade rights request from Venice. So, local trade production efficiency, local trade worth. I don't think we get much trade anyway, so our trade worth isn't necessary. Get that production up. And now they have 10,000? Why do they keep reinforcing forces? Alright, if these guys occupy this territory and come for us, you are joining this fucking war. I don't care if it's breaking the truce. Dickhole. I mean, we could, potentially, um, invade Burgundy. I don't know how many soldiers they have in Burgundy. And see, the problem is, they probably do have a lot of soldiers in Burgundy still. Uh, because it seems they only have probably two transports. So, um, we're going to actually see. We're not going to invade Burgundy. We're going to fucking attack. I should have probably done this sooner. I, I'm so bad at multitasking. That's what I mean when I say I'm bad at multitasking. Is I just forget about stuff. Especially the Navy. Like I hardly ever build a Navy. Because I just forget it exists. That's right. That is right. You are not sending more soldiers to our country. I should have done this so much sooner. But I wasn't even paying attention. They were just like oh. So they, they they were doing it too. Alright, I caught them doing it. They were they were doing it. There was uh two 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 units were marching onto the ship and they stopped as soon as I attacked it. They're coming right for us. Oh god. Brace for impact. Hopefully we get a defensive bonus here. Hopefully we get a defensive bonus. Uh oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. Peace. 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 We'll try we'll try another peace offer. It's gonna be white peace. Uh, negative sixteen. Um not accept it. See the thing I hate I hate Burgundy with a passion. Alright, because Burgundy is like the douchebags of the game. They're they are, seriously, that's, I, I mean it. If you ever play as a weak nation around Burgundy, they will be your worst nightmare. They are annoying, and they are not reasonable people. 
no offense to anybody who's uh, from Burgundian descent, but they're they're unreasonable. They will not negotiate anything. They're not nice. You join. You join right now. They're not gonna join. <laughs> We're free. I think we're free. I thought that might happen. I wanted to try it. I wanted to try it. And I think it happened. Oh my god. I wanted it to happen. And... Well, I mean, come on. Like, seriously. England, England was just screwing us over there. But we're free. That that was that was easier than I thought it would be. I'll be honest there. Ooh, that was a doozy. Oh, we're gonna get our ass kicked there. I'm pretty sure. I hardly ever win battles where I'm outnumbered, even defensive ones. I don't think there's like any kind of super special bonus here. Actually. Negative four for terrain, negative one for crossing. Actually, yeah, that's actually pretty, pretty devastating. Actually, they probably have a better uh, general though. We just like became our own independent nation in this one turn. Um, the fuck's going? The fuck? I mean, I mean England. I, I keep going. England's gone. Why do they hate us? Our infamy? It's only seven point seven. How about Austria? We that may not have been the best thing to do. You're gonna be honest. They might possibly declare war. Oh, Sweden's kicking Norway in the face. Denmark has some territory up here. Cool. Um, hmm. did, is that independent? <laughs> Iceland is independent. Uh, that was probably, uh, forced upon by either, by, by Sweden, I think, so I don't think, uh, Denmark actually has fought Norway. Unless they both fought them, but Sweden's the only one who got territory. I don't know. Actually, I think Denmark. No, that uh, that no, that's that starts with them, I think. And if it doesn't, then Swedish. Uh, it's definitely not Norwegian. Um, Iceland's an independent nation. You want to be my friends? Royal marriage, maybe. Maybe you don't. You do not give me a maybe for a royal marriage, boy. Ooh, Leinster. Oh, I remember. Leinster got Munster declared war on Leinster. Like way way back in the beginning and for Munster actually declaring war on Leinster Leinster kind of took them over <laughs> irony all right yeah we lost I was kind of expecting such a thing to happen alliance offer from Leinster yeah you want to be my friend all right now you're joining this war now <laughs> maybe maybe Okay, we got Leinster, even though they're probably not going to help too much. Alright, so we got this. Um, touch. Touch. Alright, what the fuck? What the fuck's this red squadron shit? Touch. Always fall. Oh, oh, that's uh, English ship. I was wondering what that was. So they should not be ooh the Teutonic Order. What the what are they doing in Holland? I don't understand the world anymore. But we're independent, which is nice. It's neat. Um, Leinster is now at war with Burgundy. However, I do not know if they'll actually be able to help. Maybe. I mean, they got three units right here. If they sent all three of them over here, that would combine with ours to equal ten to their whatever they got nine they did not lose enough soldiers that is for true 
Unfortunately, we may have effed ourselves over, though. We are definitely not strong enough to uh, not have England on our side. So like Bur Burgundy are just dicks. They would not accept that. Offer tribute. We'll concede defeat. Concede defeat. They wouldn't accept that. See, that that's a very reasonable thing to do. You just stay out of here. They wouldn't even accept it if we gave them territory. Oh well. Just gonna try to fight them off as best we can. Which isn't very good. We don't have. Oh shit. I completely forgot. We can build soldiers here. I feel so stupid. I forgot we just got these territories. Scotland, I would feel much more comfortable. I know that's your capital, but I would feel much more comfortable if you took those soldiers and didn't keep them there. You 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 are building tension that doesn't need to be there, okay? Okay. Um, what do we got? Alliance offer from Holland. You are about to get your face stomped in by the Teutonic Order. And... Oh, you're not. What the fuck? Teutonic Order's gone now. It's like $8,000 troops. Okay, we're going to call you to war. And you can actually take care of Burgundy down here. And they're going to regret. I don't think Burgundy has too many troops down here. That They could probably build them because they, they could probably get manpower pretty fast. And they probably have some stored up. They could probably build them. But uh, it's going to become much harder for them if they're fighting a two-front war. And Holland has like 8,000 soldiers, so they could probably do some kind of damage. Oh, Burgundy's got 15,000. I may have effed all Holland over. Well, I mean, if they weren't going to join... If it wasn't advantageous for them to join, if it wasn't a good idea for them to join, then why did it put likely? Why were they likely to join when I sent that? It should be like unlikely, and then I probably and I wouldn't send it in the first place and put them in an odd position. That's their own fault that I put them in an odd position because it should have said that they were unlikely to join, and then I wouldn't have sent a offer in the first place so that I didn't lose the alliance. I feel so stupid because I just built soldiers there like the entire time. Oh, I need military access. So, oh my god. No. It's not like we broke free from you. You refused to join us in a war. It's not our fault. Technically it is. Shush. Not our fault. Um, it's England's fault for not breaking their truce. I've broken truces before. Because I was really pissed that I didn't get any land from a war that I lost a lot of soldiers fighting. I didn't get any land because yeah, I was just like, oh, derp, we're going to have white peace even though you're completely being occupied. We'll accept that white peace. Then you have people like Burgundy who are just like, no, no, we're not that stupid. You try somebody else, maybe? You better give it to me. I'm going to kill you, England. You are dead. I'm going to rape your face. Oh god. I just want I just want to punch England right in the throat right now. For one thing, that wastes diplomat and time, because now we gotta wait another month before we can even send something else through. Waste another diplomat. Plus we gotta waste another diplomat getting our relations up. And so you just kinda effed us. How's it feel? You just effed us twice. Uh oh, I don't. I don't feel safe anymore. I don't have powerful. I need an adult. I need an adult. France, you're an adult. No, France. Be my friend. Anybody want to be my friend? You might get some English territory. Ah, uh, Denmark. You definitely want to beat up England. No. Sweden, are you free? I think you are. Um, let's see. Yeah, you are. I also wouldn't be able to offer an alliance. Um, you're also free. No. 
Oh my god, I need I need I need an adult and by an adult I mean a powerful nation who wants to be my friend. Because as of right now England is looking like they are going to want to hit us. And remember, we, it's not like we had like a true snipe. We went to like a war of independence or anything like that. There was like no war. Essentially, they broke our alliance. So there was no war. There's no truce. Truce lasts for like five years. So we'd have like five years to build ourselves up if we, you know, had a war for independence. We have like five years to build ourselves up before we'd have to, before they could possibly attack us again. However, we didn't go to war at all. Therefore, they could attack us right exactly now if they wanted to. And there's nothing we could do. We're done. <laughs> um, so, them not giving us military access. Not good. Offer trade agreement. Possible. Offer alliance. Possible. Uh, what else could we do? Give military access? Maybe. Um, I don't like your maybes. The last one was a maybe. And you didn't do it. Jerk. Trade group? No. I think I already checked that. Royal marriage? Very unlikely. How do I bring up my relations without any money? We are going to take a loan. We need another one. Sorry. I know that's not, not the greatest thing to do in the world, but... We really, really, really need some military access because we cannot afford, we cannot afford to anger England by walking in their territory and we really need to get these soldiers down there. We can't really afford to piss off England right now, so we're going to actually turn down our maintenance on our ships. We now spend no money on ships. Now we should be making point one. This is awful. We don't have money. <laughs> My king, we have been warned not to go to war with any countries. Who warned us? I wasn't paying attention. Would you want peace now, Burgundy, please? Please? They would not accept a white peace. You know what? All in all... If we were to get a peace tree with these, uh, with Burgundy up here, these soldiers are completely trapped up here. We, uh, if you remember correctly, we destroyed Burgundy's only fleet, and that's how they got here. <laughs> Without that fleet, they can't leave. They're kind of trapped up here. Oh well. They won't be doing us any harm. Let's see if they'll accept peace now, because we did take that province back, and they haven't taken the other one. So now we're actually positive in war score. They're still not going to accept it? Or demand a fucking tribute? You give us concede defeat, and vassalize, and I want you to not vassalize Lorraine anymore. And you're going to revoke your core on Calais, and you're going to release Flanders and Nevers, and... You can't have Bar and Lorraine in your sphere, and you're gonna know all the treaties with the, with Achaia, Achaia, Brittany, France, Scotland, and Switzerland, which is equal to 611 war score, and we have three. I think this will work out just fine. Uh, I don't know. We have positive three war score, and they're just like still. We had some. More soldiers, England. Oh no! Restoration of the Union. You fucking broke the Union. We didn't break the Union. You broke the Union. Restoration of Union. Scotland. Scotland, I know I took some territory from you and you really, really hate me, but friends, 
So I think this is probably where this entire series is about to end because there's no way we could survive the Wrath of England right now. So, in a very short span of time, we fought... I'm not, I'm not necessarily going to end it right here. I'm going to end this part. Probably do the next part some other time. Well, this is probably more than one part. But anyways, in our short span, I forget what time this... Uh, campaign began I think go you know it's no way it began in 1359 oh wait no no it definitely didn't that that's uh when uh England broke our treaty that's that's our actual king instead of our English king um I don't think it started in 1327 it started like 1352 53 55 something like that so from like the mid early to mid, so, so for like five seven years, a lot of stuffs happened. We uh, we 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 took two provinces from Scotland. That's a thing that happened up here. Uh, we're getting rocked by Burgundy because they're douchebags. If you ever play against them, they just they only accept deals if you completely have them, you know, done. They'll, they'll never accept a white piece ever. They don't. They don't do that. They don't accept white pieces because they're dicks. Um, and England has. We broke free from England, so that's a thing. We're actually a sovereign nation, if you see. King Edward the Third. I'm not gonna read the last part because pronunciations and stuff. That's not how you do it. And our king is King Rodri the Fourth. Of some place that I can't pronounce. <laughs> and now England has declared war on us to reunite the Union. Even though they broke the Union. Because we called them to, to join in our forces and help us beat Burgundy. Instead of let us get conquered by Burgundy. Because that was just stupid. And they rejected it. Which... Obviously, if you reject a call to arms, breaks the alliance. And so they broke the alliance by rejecting our call to arms. And then, yeah, so that's how we became a free state. We didn't actually fight for it. They just kind of rejected it. And I could see a war against England coming. And it's probably, we're probably dead. But, but we had a good run at it. We, could, we lasted like five years, which is like a record. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have called England to uh, arms, but they're they're making me mad because they 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 are no help at all. The AI is just no help at all. But anyways, I'm gonna leave it there for right now, and I'll probably pick it up. Although we'll see. I mean, I'll probably record, and then stuff will probably happen in the last like four more minutes of recording, <laughs> and I can't really make anything out of that. So so we'll see. We'll see.